So uh, they need to visit a hospital regularly and not okay. just visiting a hospital will do. Definitely they need to have strict glycemic control, have a good diet control, avoid sugars and, uh, you know, uh, calorie intake has to be definite to visit. It's actually a multi-modality, uh, you know, treatment okay. that they need to undergo. It involves a dietitian. Everybody's role is equally important. It involves a dietitian, a podiatrist, right. a surgeon, a vascular surgeon. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and of course, uh, very, very important, the role of an endocrinologist who will definitely okay. control the underlying sugars. So it's a multi-disciplinary uh, team uh, that is involved in treating uh, diabetic foot. And uh, yes, uh, you need to visit the doctor early, uh, adhere to what they say, and definitely uh, frequent visits to the doctor and uh, keeping the wound clean and hygiene. Very, very important. Yeah. As we know, uh, foot is quite kind of an area that is dirty. So you need to maintain that hygiene. And if the wound is soaked, you need to undergo even twice a day dressings. And uh, the family, it is always better if the next of kin or whoever is taking care of this patient learns how to do dressings. And uh, okay. it will help definitely because what happens in many scenarios, then the Attendant does not know how to do dressings and this wound is exudating pus or, uh, you know, fluid uh, from yeah. these ulcers. The whole um, you know, foot is soaked with all this uh, media and then that itself forms a very, very, uh, you know, culture medium for bacteria. So uh, if right. they don't know how to do a dressing, the next dressing would be either the next following day or two days later or when the whenever the doctor is available. So you are giving, a, okay. uh, you know, a culture medium for the bacteria to grow and mm -hmm. it is becoming the ulcer is not healing but it's going towards uh, a downfall 